Emily, the August Mission is a nonprofit based out of Utah helping refugees. The organization not only sends supplies to Ukraine, but also people to help on the ground and even doctors. We've got two of us here in Ukraine. There's two back in Poland. Um, I have a couple contacts here in Ukraine that uh, come and work with us. Kaz Halliday, the operations specialist for August Mission, has been in Ukraine since March 26th helping get much-needed supplies to Ukrainians fleeing the war. We're, we're bringing food and uh, getting tourniquets and you know, stuff that you know, a lot of the civilians can use to help defend themselves or protect themselves if something happens. He says he's stationed in a city close to the center of Ukraine, about three hours away from Kiev. It's uh, one of the largest um, towns right now that has the main uh, railway system comes in here, so a lot of the refugees are coming and getting dropped off here. Halliday says people fleeing war zones often don't have the luxury of packing and bringing with them a full suitcase. Everything's just in you know, plastic bags or uh, you know, small backpacks and that kind of stuff. So they're kind of just leaving a lot of it back home and uh, coming with very little, uh, just what they can carry because they're hopping on the train. Reese Roberts, chief of staff for August Mission, says members of the organization go to Ukraine in rotations to help people on the ground. And while Halliday will be returning at the end of April, someone else from the organization will be taking his place. We maintain at least a two-person team from August Mission there, and then uh, additional with uh, generally two doctors at a time doing two-week rotations. We see this need uh, continuing for months and potentially years down the road. Representatives of August Mission say the best way to help Ukrainians from home is to donate to organizations who are helping people there directly. Live in Salt Lake City, Lena Takata, ABC.